Welcome back to Bazaar Morning Call. Well, all of us have seen that image of the Suez Canal blockade, that viral image last week, right? Thankfully, that has come to an end with the massive container ship ever given now being refloated. Uh, the block is likely to have caused over 200 ships being stalled or redirected. Let's find out what the impact of this has been in the logistics business. We have uh, Shashi Kiran Shetty, who's the group chairman of All Cargo Logistics, who joins in now to to assess this impact, the impact of this crisis on the business, on the industry, and on the country. Uh, Mr. Shetty, thanks so much for joining us. Um, what has your assessment been so far of the impact that this you know crisis has had on the industry and perhaps on your own business as well? Uh, you know, I think this is about uh, the impact is about 2% of the container uh, ships uh, fleet has been taken away temporarily. Uh, so that many ships are waiting and they're not in service since they're waiting there. So the trade between uh, Asia and uh, Europe, uh, North America and uh, East Coast uh, of United States and Canada are the ones which have, uh, uh, you know, experienced uh, supply chain disruption and about 400 ships are waiting and uh, uh, fortunately i think uh, now the uh, the ever given has been moved to the lake uh, the movement of about 70 to 80 ships will happen every day uh, uh, the authorities uh, heard we heard saying that they will move even more they'll make more effort to take as many more ships as possible uh, in terms of the uh, disruption per se i think it is short time uh, i don't think it will disrupt too much but uh, uh, you know shipments which are urgently required uh, like during covid time a lot of cargo moved by air uh, to fulfill the disruption in manufacturing of any kind or urgent uh, requirement of uh, 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 materials uh, you know they'll resort to uh, air freighting them um, and uh, obviously it will have an impact on the container shortage and uh, the short uh, supply of ships uh, will lead to increase in ocean freight uh, which was uh, showing a trend of uh, a downward trend uh, post Chinese New Year. And uh, I think uh, this will have some impact on the freight rates going up uh, on the container side. I, I'm, I'm more tracking container shipping, uh, not so much on the brick bulk. Obviously, there'll be an impact even there, the petroleum products, the uh, iron ore, the commodity uh, prices and all that will probably ha have some impact as well. Um, yes, I think uh, overall uh, it's a short-lived crisis and I think the shipping world will recover very fast and uh, I, I don't see major challenge going okay. forward. Okay. Uh, 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 Mr. Shetty, just a, a, a final question on this issue. We have lots more other questions for you. Uh, from an Indian point of view, is there any other disruption we should be prepared for? You said minor rise in freights for container and for non-container cargo is possible short term. But anything else, I mean, when the ships come in a, uh, in, a, in a stream to the western ports, will JNPT, Mundra, Hazira all be able to handle it? Um, yeah, you know, I think even during the crisis, uh, there are a lot of containers which did not get cleared mm. and uh, they, uh, they got all discharged in the port. And uh, thanks to very efficient evacuation from the ports to the container freight stations, and to the inland container depots, the, the, there was no disruption in port operations uh, whatsoever. Um, the containers obviously went and stayed in the CFS and ICD for a while. Um, so that's uh, that's a bit of a challenge uh, that we would probably will face. But that's, that is not a big issue at all. Nothing to worry on that front. Okay, so since you said that it's not such a big challenge for the industry and nothing to worry, let's move on. Uh, how has growth been across your key segments, whether it's multimodal transport, CFS, or you know your projects business as well? Uh, what kind mm -hmm. of growth rates have we, are we looking at? Uh, you're saying uh, that 2021, this financial yes. year? For FY22 is what I'm asking you. Right. Uh, you know, our business has been fairly stable. Uh, of course, uh, uh, we have uh, 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 improved our uh, uh, overall volume during the crisis, very surprisingly. We've taken market share and we expanded into new products, uh, which we launched on the full container load and also on the air freight. Uh, since there was a, a significant uh, demand for air freight, uh, we also launched uh, uh, express air freight services out of China to the United States and uh, Latin America. So, so all those contributed significantly and uh, obviously, there has been a lot of cost rationalization that happened 
uh, and uh, that brought in certain amount of saving. We also got a lot of subsidies from some of the governments. I can't say a lot, but significant amount of subsidies from the governments uh, uh, around the world. Uh, uh, so, so all that uh, have helped uh, the company to be very stable financially. Um, volume have also grown, mm. uh, and uh, we are uh, uh, pretty healthy stage right now. Okay, uh, yeah, actually, even your nine month performance was almost as good as your FY twenty revenues, if I remember right. Uh, yes. But uh, uh, Mr. Shetty, uh, can you update us on the synergies with Gati? You had hired uh, uh, Ma Alvarez and Marcel, right? So yes. are the synergies complete and can we see any quantum improvement in revenue and more importantly EBITDA? Yes, uh, Gati uh, is on the right track, I would say. Uh, you know, it's uh, one of the most exciting sector in the logistic market. Uh, Gati does... Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, express transportation, it is involved in warehousing management, that is 3PL. Uh, Gati is also involved in uh, air, uh, air freight uh, and uh, last mile uh, deliveries uh, and pickups. So, very exciting space and uh, uh, the company is uh, turning around, but mm -hmm. obviously it is a big ship to turn. Uh, it has got 20,000 pin code. Uh, there were quite a bit of uh, inherent uh, issues in the company. Uh, we have uh, been able to uh, bring down the debt of the company. Mm. We've been able to uh, timely announcement of Vivatse Vishwas. We've been able to take advantage of that. So our, our contingent liability has come down quite substantially. Overall, it will it will be a, at least a three year uh, process. Uh, things are not going to change immediately, but uh, uh, there is an, there is definitely a bit of improvement already okay. uh, because a lot of the non core businesses have been brought to closure and okay. uh, restructuring happened. Mm. So, so we're in a very healthy uh, state again in that company. You, you'll put your hat in the ring for Concor? We are exploring. Uh, I would just leave it at that okay. at the moment. Yeah, uh, I... Obviously, we need uh, uh, good financial partners. And uh, we believe that we've had the wherewithal okay. in terms of the management bandwidth and uh, bring in efficiencies and uh, get the company to grow and provide better quality service and most importantly, uh, take advantage of the growing India's domestic market uh, uh, to help the country reduce the logistic cost. So that's uh, some of the driving factors for us to look at it. But uh, this is a, it's a long, long way off. Okay. Right? Uh, a delisting, is that long way off? Delisting, obviously, we have announced it, as all of you know. Um, uh, you know, the main reason is because uh, we uh, feel that... Uh, because of a global expansion mm. and uh, con multiple acquisitions and uh, 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 the uh, multiple portfolio of businesses, mm. uh, um, you know, markets don't see us as a uh, probably a safe bet in India to, to um, back us on valuation. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, the primary driver. It, it will be FI22, is it? Uh, yeah, FI22, yes. All oh, right. Uh, sorry, um, yeah, that's right. This year, that is uh, the year that begins tomorrow. Yeah, begins tomorrow, absolutely. Okay. Yes. All right, we will touch base with you before that and thereafter as well. You will be an important sure. uh, commentator, of course, on the logistics scene in the country. Thank you very much, uh, Shashikir and Shetty, for joining us. Thank you, Lata. Us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, uh, we'll just run you through all cargo's past performance. Uh, well, a company that is looking to delist, but for now, of course, we are interested in the historical trends as well. Uh, they'll come up for you. It's strong performance, actually. Look at the nine month. They've done reasonably well in spite of several problems in the first quarter. And uh, that's the margin, and you'll get the profit after tax bar chart as well. And with that, we're going to a break and uh, alert you that... Uh, Lined up after this break is a very important conversation.